Our graduate response speaker is a Student Excellence Awardee of the Department of Management and Organization and a graduate of Bachelor of Science major in Applied Corporate Management, summa cum laude. A consistent Dean's Lister throughout college, he is a newly inducted member of the Jose Rizal Honor Society. His group's undergraduate thesis on dynamic capabilities and sustainable organizing among Philippine agricultural social enterprises was recognized and awarded the Gold Thesis Excellence Award for Applied Corporate Management. Beyond his academic background, he served as an officer for training and development in the Business Management Society for two years, spearheading award-winning training programs and being recognized as a two-time LaSallean Excellence Awardee for Outstanding Assistant Vice President in 2020 and Outstanding Vice President in 2021. Passionate for music and the arts, he also became a senior member of the De La Salle University Chorale, having performed in multiple choral concerts, competitions, and events. In the 2021 Gawad Cultura, he was awarded the Gawad Raya for being an outstanding new student artist during the year 2019. In his community, he actively participates in his local church as a member of the parish youth choir and a volunteer for the parish pastoral council for responsible voting in several national and local elections. With these holistic experiences, he became a driven student leader, a proud student artist, and a compassionate student volunteer. Moving forward, he hopes to become an advocate for change through humanistic management. Ladies and gentlemen, to speak on behalf of the graduating batch from the Ramon V. Del Rosario College of Business, James Marius Bolinao. Thank you, Dr. Baliada. I extend my gratitude to the University Honors and Awards Council for allowing me this great, great honor to speak on behalf of the graduating class. University President, Brother Bernard Oka, FSC. University Provost, Dr. Robert Roleda. Senior Vice President, Mr. Ramon Trajano. Our distinguished commencement speaker, Mr. Cesar Consing. Honorable DLSU administrators, esteemed faculty and staff, beloved guests, family, friends, and the graduates of Batch 2023, at long last, a momentous afternoon to all. What do you want to be when you grow up? As kids, I'm sure that all of us encounter this question countless times. Little dreamers as we were back then, we answered in the most confident yet innocent ways we knew how. Some of us dreamed of becoming doctors, pilots, or engineers. Others wanted something out of this world, like becoming superheroes with the power to fight crime and protect the innocent. Regardless, we as children once dared to dream. Allow me to begin by sharing a story from 17 years ago. On the 25th of March, 2006, I stood in front of a crowd to give my first graduation speech. At the time, I was a preschooler. There were no teleprompters, so I just memorized the speech written by my mom and rehearsed the delivery for weeks with my dad. However, at the time, I must admit that I didn't understand what I was saying at all. Looking back, maybe the message was just a little too deep for a six-year-old to understand. But just recently, I found a copy of my speech from way back when. As I read it 17 years later, now a bit older and a bit wiser, I think I finally understand the message now. And I would like to read the passage from that same speech. 
Since the beginning of the school year, I have been counting the days until graduation. As the countdown went on, the excitement grew. I began to ask, why am I so excited to graduate? Am I finished with my ABCs and 123s, the vowels and consonants, addition and subtraction? Whatever the reason, I believe great challenges are ahead and we are now ready to hurdle the next level. We have been working toward this moment since that first ever day of school. Some of us cried as we left our parents, while others eagerly rushed to our pastel-painted classrooms. Today, our parents will truly say how time flies. Their little babies are now growing up, and I know they are proud of what we have accomplished today. Indeed, time has passed. The little babies and the little dreamers have now grown up, and, ro and all roads have led to where we are today, De La Salle University. Each of us has a story to tell, and every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Merong simula, merong gitna, at merong dulo. Today, I would like to share my message beginning at the end. Magsisimula tayo sa dulo. Many of us thought that this day would never come. At some point in the middle of the pandemic, I'm sure that many of us accepted the fact that we might not be able to graduate in person or experience the so-called road to PICC. But today, with a simple twist of fate, we have finally reached the end of the road in a new normal. We entered the Philippine International Convention Center as DLSU students one last time. Later, we will leave this place as Lasallian graduates, ready to face the world with passion and purpose. At the end of it all, we are here, sharing this very moment with our friends, educators, and loved ones as one Lasallian community. Pumunta naman tayo sa gitna. Every good story has its plot twists, and all of us here know that our batch experienced some of the most challenging ones in the middle of our student life. For many of us here, we were the pioneering batch of the K-12 curriculum. Now, for my fellow students, try to recall your first year in senior high school. How did it go? How did you feel? I began my Lasallian journey in 2016 as a student in the first batch of senior high school students at the Manila campus. I vividly remember many firsts at DLSU, commuting to Manila, tapping my ID at the old South Gate, and my personal favorite, studying at the library to watch the sunset by the Manila Bay. Of course, the learnings inside the classrooms were high level, as expected of DLSU's quality of education. Expectations were high, projects were challenging, and subjects were aligned with my chosen strand. My senior high days gave me some semblance of clarity for my career path. However, I still couldn't help but feel a lingering uncertainty. They say that uncertainty is always associated with change, the educational system was facing a difficult yet necessary shift armed with new subjects and standards to improve the quality of our education. However, people often call our batch the guinea pigs, test subjects of an experimental curriculum. Even worse, other people would say something along the lines of, Minalas yung batch mo? Sayang, graduate ka na sana ngayon. Despite all of this, we did not let misfortune define us. We studied, persevered, and upheld the responsibility of becoming standard bearers for younger generations of Filipino students, an honor that we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. The next plot twist happened in the middle of college. Amid the hustle and bustle of student life in Taft, everything seemingly came to a halt when the coronavirus started to spread around the country. Now, for my fellow students, again, try to remember that one fateful day when classes were suddenly suspended. 
What were you doing? How did you feel? That day, that day, my last class had just ended. And I remember doing a bit of work for a fundraiser we were preparing for at the time. Overall, it seemed like a typical busy day, attending classes and doing the usual org work. So when the suspension was announced, I was just as happy as any other student because for the first time in my sophomore year, I was able to arrive home before 6 p.m., a proud achievement for someone who stays on campus until security asks me to leave. Little did I know that it would also be a day of my many lasts at DLSU. The last face-to-face -face classes, the last commutes, and ultimately, the last day of normalcy inside the campus. Now stuck at home, I was once again struck with uncertainty. For all of us who studied for more than two years online, to say that the pandemic experience was difficult is a big understatement. As our houses became our classrooms, what once was a place to rest became a place to work. School was no longer a second home, but an extension of the first one, where setting boundaries was an entirely different challenge. Again, we would often hear something like, Malas na naman, no? Sayang. Two years din yun. At some point, as the pandemic went on, we gave much thought to the months and years of what could have been a normal college life. We thought of the things we should have done in the past, but felt immensely uncertain of what lies ahead. We were left with no choice but to contemplate in silence as we watched the world in isolation. But even in the most silent battles where we fought our doubts, fears, and regrets, we chose to learn, endure, and grow, becoming the reflective lifelong learners we all aspired to be. Reflecting on these plot twists, I wonder, what legacy will our batch leave behind? Are we really guinea pigs? Or are we high caliber pioneers of a new curriculum? Did the pandemic really make us the most unfortunate batch? Or did it shape us to become the most resilient Lasallians? Fellow graduates, the answer is for us to decide and act upon as we move forward. Sir Winston Churchill says that success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. The fact that all of us are here today in this shared space is living proof of our commitment to keep moving forward. Walang minalas at mas lalong walang nasayang. Uncertainties and turbulences teach us something about fate. I'd like to share two passages from Haruki Murakami's Kafka on the Shore. He writes that sometimes fate is like a small sandstorm that keeps changing directions. You change direction, but the storm chases you. You turn again, but the storm adjusts. Over and over, you play this out like some ominous dance with death just before dawn. Why? Because this storm isn't something that blew from far away, something that has nothing to do with you. The storm is you, something inside of you. Reading this passage reminded me of William Ernest Henley's Invictus. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. No matter the challenge, no matter the storm, we will always have the power to shape our lives. The second passage by Murakami captures this thought perfectly. He writes, and once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure, in fact, whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm is all about. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to express my utmost gratitude to those who have been with us throughout every twist and every storm. 
to our esteemed DLSU professors, administrators, and mentors, thank you for a student environment that truly feels like home. From a new curriculum to a global pandemic, we have felt your unwavering passion and dedication to quality education, staying true to the life, legacy, and values of the founder, St. LaSalle. For that, we are eternally grateful. To the friends we made along the way, thank you for being you, for friendships that can overcome any pandemic, and for countless memories that we will value for the rest of time. To the parents, guardians, and loved ones, here with us today and those in the heavens above, thank you for your unconditional love. With a grateful heart, we dedicate this journey to you, you who helped us find joy in times of sadness, comfort in times of doubt. To God, the almighty creator, thank you for the teachings and the life lessons that transcend what we learn inside our classrooms. We as Lasallians shall always continue to do our actions for the love of you. Now, we go back to the start. Babalik tayo sa simula. New beginnings are always found at the journey's end. And as graduates, we now share a responsibility to become change makers in the world around us. We acknowledge uncertainty and embrace the unknown. But it doesn't mean that we have to face them alone. Just like the Avengers or the Justice League, who band together to fight forces of evil, we too are just as interconnected with one another. We may not be superheroes, but we are Lasallian graduates with a spirit of faith, zeal for service, and communion in mission. Teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives, we share our vocation for the rest of the world to see. Fellow graduates, what do you want to be now that you've already grown up? As we continue to search for meaning, try to remember yourself who once was a child who dared to dream. I'm sure that they must be so, so proud to see how far you've come. We now conclude this story of fate and begin to write the first chapter of a new story where the future begins here. Animal Lasal. Thank you, Mr. Bolina.